So you don't need that partner trying to uh, push the pedal all the time, which is usually your significant other. She's probably very appreciative that I've replaced her with this. Hello, and thanks for spending some time with me today. In this episode, we are going to flush some brakes, and I'll show you a little bit of how to do that, some little tips in that, and I'm going to show you this really cool tool that I just bought. I've always wanted one of these, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to show you how it all works, and I'm going to tell you how great it works at the end of this as well. So stay tuned, and let's get going. So next, we're gonna actually bleed the, the brakes. In fact, I'm actually gonna do a bit of a flush on them. I've got a new toy for that. I bought one of these, if you can see it. There we are, right here. A little vacuum thing. I've always wanted uh, one of these and I found one basically half price, it wasn't too expensive. And it included this little jug, which I'll show you how that works too. Basically keeps your reservoir full. Let's show you how this all works. We'll put the air compressor hose on here. And then you got a nice little switch here to turn the suction on. And when it passes through, it causes a, a nice little vacuum on this, which goes in onto your, your nipple for your brake, brake bleed. So you don't need that partner trying to uh, push the pedal all the time, which is usually your significant other. As much as my wife and I have gotten sequence on that, she's probably very appreciative that I've replaced her with this. First thing we do is we're gonna fill this up with brake fluid. And we've got the good stuff here. It's too expensive to waste. Also, I don't want contaminants, so I'm just kind of cleaning the top off here. I don't want anything to fall in. You don't want contaminants in your this holds quite a bit actually. It's got a little measuring thing on it too. It holds about a quart, looks like. Might hold this whole thing. Almost. Hope it seals. I'll attach it and you'll see how this clamps on. And when you want to fill your reservoir, you've got a little piece here that you can, or a little valve here, it opens up. When you do uh, brake bleeds, you start with the one that's first away from the reservoir, which is also where the brake master is. Make sure you never get air in your line is very key, and we're gonna make sure we do that. I always like to put a little cloth, because brake fluid is very corrosive. It will take pain off things if it sits. Make sure that you don't let it get on everything. Try not to drip anything anyway. When you crack the bleeder, Best to just put the wrench on with the box end around it, and that way you don't have less chance of stripping it. So put that on first, and put your uh, your bleeder hose on. In this case, this guy. So I want to make sure that vacuum is always in here before I actually before I actually turn this. So if everything works, I'll loosen this. And hopefully we can see fluid come here eventually and we'll we'll check that all right here it goes that took a really long time and i know it's because when i changed these brakes out and i disconnected the hoses i had only a few drops of fluid come out so i don't know for whatever reason there wasn't fluid coming to this thing. Uh, I don't know if they were, you know, the hoses were off at one point and they never really flushed it or bled them again in the rears, but something something wasn't right. So the rear brakes I found weren't actually working on this car, but we're gonna make sure they work now. So 
So I notice I have blue fluid coming in here now. And that's really good that I use a different color while well, it happens to be a different color fluid that was in there. So I can tell that I'm actually flush the whole line. I'm gonna give it a little more yet. Just wanna give it a good flush rather than just a bleed. Again, I got the different color fluid, which is really handy to see if it's getting fully flushed. Just gonna check the reservoir to make sure the reservoir doesn't come up, come a bit dry. Just so you know if that reservoir ever does get dry, empty I guess, then you're gonna get air in the line, you get air in the line, you gotta start all over again. I'm gonna give it a little more to give it a good flush. I think that's good for this one. It even flowed better after a while, so there was definitely lots of air and who knows what in that line. I don't know if there's anything I can see. It's like kind of blue now, but uh, this one I consider done now and flushed. And I just like to make sure I don't drip any of that brake fluid. And I didn't. On to the next one. Oh, and in case you're wondering which is the next one, so I did the uh, the first away, which was the rear right. Now I'm on the rear left, and now I'm gonna go to the front right. And the last one will be on the driver's side front. And that's because the master cylinder is basically at that point. Now this actually is the Willwood brakes. Awesome brakes, by the way. Don't have a lot of weight to them, which is, you wanna lose weight, especially if you're drag racing. They honestly actually have four liter valves in them. How Willwood says to do these is it's for different configurations and you don't do the bottom at all. You just do the upper and you do the outside one first because again it's the first away from your line coming in and then once that's bled you do your your inside one bleed it and then you're you're good. So that's what I'm going to do now. We'll do the same thing for this one as I talked about doing the doing the outside and then the inside. Something <laughs> These well ones, I didn't realize that uh, they basically have a quarter inch uh, bleeder screw here and I didn't have a quarter inch wrench, I didn't have a six millimeter wrench and I want to make sure I get all the corners and use a box in, so I had to go buy one. Uh, always a good excuse to buy another tool, isn't it? So we'll, we'll get this one done. The other thing about doing the front, it's a little easier to watch the reservoir to make sure that it's not getting dry and how the level is. Obviously in the rear you gotta walk back and forth. This you can kind of watch. And we'll, we'll get this going now. Here we go. And over the next break. It's going okay, isn't it? This one uh, took a lot less time since it's the closest to the reservoir. So let's do the review on this tool now. And together as a set, this guy, other than a nice container, it's not super great, even though it's got this little bit of a, I think this is to like, kind of light air in so it can actually keep, keep the reservoir full when you open the valve. But what ends up happening is if this is actually sitting in the liquid, it won't drain. It basically just sits there, the fluid, so it, it it doesn't work unless you lift this, you know, it's upside down, so you lift it up and then pour it in. So it's a nice little container to pour, but as far as clamping it on, it, it didn't do great. I, I would say this is no big deal. I wouldn't worry about if this is in the package or not. You don't need it. This guy uh, by itself is amazing. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. It works exactly as I was hoping. You just gotta remember that when you're using it, you don't make sure you apply the vacuum and then you release the little valve with your wrench and always make sure the vacuum's on and then you close it, just like as if you're using the pedal method as well, but you don't need somebody on the pedal, you just do this. So it, it works really well. I, I, I'm really happy with it. I would say I should have had this probably 20 years ago. I don't know when they started making anything like this, but it's really awesome. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give this, honestly, a 10 out of 10 getting it. It works that good. I'm very happy with it. Not sure about how long it lasts, but you don't need it a ton. 
but it really works. With this as a set, I'm gonna drop it down to an eight, how to be honest, because this this is just no, no point. It, it was still a good price even without this, so I guess I got a nice little container, but this is, this is kind of useless. This is precious. So that's my review on this. And that concludes the brake flush using this new tool. I actually really enjoyed using this tool, as you can tell. So I would certainly recommend getting one if you don't have one and you, and you do brakes often enough like me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you enjoy every day and always make it right.